Hello everybody, welcome back. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot believe after this stitch is done, we're halfway done. This is crazy. I am shocked that we are already at six months. And so for this one, um, I love this stitch. I think it just, it looks so neat. Um, so it's a crossover stitch. Once again, we're gonna use double crochet. Uh, here's one piece that I've already made. That's what it looks like. So for uh, those of you who are in my knitting guild, um, the last Christmas party that we were able to have all together, so Christmas 19, I think it was, <laughs> The blanket that I showed for our show and share, uh, this is the stitch that I used. I know some of you were asking which one it was. Um, so this is it. This is the stitch for uh, this month. Um, it's, I'm not going to lie, this one you're going to have to concentrate, pay attention, and really look at each stitch that you're doing. Uh, it's really easy to accidentally put two stitches in the same stitch. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and change up the angle and we will get this square made. Okay, so for this one. This one you are going to be working in a double crochet plus also a single crochet. Again, when you finish, you're going to have tails on, but on the same side. This one is actually going to work up into 15 rows uh, because the single crochet line changes it a bit. But once you work this up, you'll be able to match this up size-wise with the rest of your squares. So let's go ahead and get this started. Again, you're gonna work with a slip knot. If I can do it right, sorry. Try that again. There we go. Okay, slip knot onto my hook, yay. And we are going to chain 27. chain of 27 and your second stitch from your hook you are going to single crochet into that stitch so you're just going to go into the stitch yarn over pull it through yarn over and pull through those two and that's a single stitch Again,
Okay, so when you are done with your first row, you should have a count of 26 stitches. Your first one on your uh, foundation chain, the last one you did 27, that is acting as your turning chain. So please, please, please keep track of your rows. So that's row one. Now you're going to go ahead and do a chain of three and then turn your work. Okay, this is where I said this one can be kind of tricky and you really gotta pay attention to uh, your stitches and where you're placing them. So to start, we are going to skip your first stitch here. So this one right here, you're gonna skip this one and we're gonna work into this one a double crochet. like so. You're supposed to have that gap. You're going to do another double crochet and then one more. So in total three double crochets. And your work should look like so. Now this is the fun part. You are going to go back to that one that was skipped and we are going to put a double crochet into that one. So you're going to yarn over, you're going to pull your hook and that yarn all the way over to that stitch through the back. You're going to grab some working yarn, so yarn over and bring it through. Now this part is fun. You're going to pull that up and over and you're going to feel it move and slide through. And then you're going to pull working yarn and you're going to go through the first two and then yarn over one more time and the last two and you've made your first crossover and I'm not gonna lie it is a lot of fun to feel your yarn moving through this stitch to come up over here I don't ask me I just enjoy it so now you're gonna skip your next stitch this is where people think oh this is the stitch to skip but no this is like I said you gotta pay attention because this is actually your your fourth double crochet that you did so the last one just before you went back here you'll be able to see right here you've got some working stitch right there this is the one right here that you're gonna skip and you're gonna go into this one so yarn over go into that one right there and make your double crochet so you'll have that gap again and that skipped stitch so there's one, two, and three. And then the fun part again. So you're gonna go back to that one. You're gonna come around, get that working yarn, bring it through, and pull and feel that yarn slide through the two through the two. And there's how it should look so far. So again, we have that one worked. That's the one we skip. Now we're doubling into this one. So double. Double. And you guessed it, double. Oop, there we go. And then we're gonna go back right there. Yeah, bring that around. Love that slide. Two and two. Skip, double.
skip. Now, we're at the end of the row, and if you've done it correctly, you're going to have one stitch left, and that is where you are going to just do one double crochet into that stitch. We have officially finished row number two. like so. See, it's so pretty. I love this one. You're going to chain one, turn your work from there, starting in this stitch right there. You are going to single crochet for 26 stitches. There is your final stitch. Like so I'm lucky number 26 right there. That is officially row number three. So you're gonna keep repeating rows one and two all the way. You're gonna finish on a single crochet will be your last row that you do. So you're chaining three, you're going to turn your work again, again, not working in that one, skipping that one, starting here. Skip. said you guys have to pay attention because like right now I made that I didn't pull enough of it out so it can sometimes be tight and you don't want that so you got to make sure it's loose enough to get that through 
Okay. So there's so far. So keep working, keep building up. Like I said, you're gonna go for 15 rows. And just remember to, you're gonna chain one when you're done doing the cross stitch. You're gonna chain three at the end when you're done doing your single stitch. So. So single stitch, chain three, crossing stitch, chain one at your turning. So go ahead, finish, and then once we get to up here, I'll meet you back so we can show you how to, of course, bind off like the other ones. So keep crocheting and I'll meet you back way up here. Well, technically, my tail's here, so way up here. <laughs> okay, so there's our square. I just have my last two single crochets to finish. There's my six for the month of March. All right, you guys, so we've got our March squares. <laughs> kind of hard to hold them up in a pretty fan for you guys to see, but <laughs> there we go. I'll just make that work, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, uh, like I said, I love this stitch. Um, I hope you guys get through it figure it out. Don't struggle too much. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to post them in the comments down below. I'm always willing to answer and help. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this. I also wanted to share with you guys, um, if you notice on my channel, I also do resin work and I was so excited. I found these molds to make my own crochet hooks. So I've done a few. I'm actually going to do a video. Um, I've been playing with the molds, experimenting. And so I just thought I'd show you a couple that I have done so far. But I just, I think these are so cute. So this one actually glows in the dark. The little glitter in there, it's a glow in the dark glitter but the size is pressed in so you know what size hook you're using. And I made, I also made a blue one that matches this one. It's got the stars in it also. Um, I have a bunch, they're in right there in this cup right here um, that I've made and I've worked with a few of them already. Um, they're cool like this is awesome so um i'm gonna be making that uh video probably at the end of this month so the end of march so if you're interested to see how i do these um please keep that in mind and check out that video when it comes out um 
but yeah, I mean, this is so cool. How, how much fun would it be to have your own custom made crochet hooks and, you know, make them personalized? Um, I, you know, I'm, I've got some already that are still curing in, in their mold that I haven't demolded yet and all that. So, and these ones are red with some red glitter, so I don't know how that's going to look. But I'm excited. I can't wait. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you'll be totally into wanting to watch that video. Uh, other than that, I'm going to say enjoy doing this stitch. And I will see you guys in the next video for uh, April. And until then, um, don't forget, definitely want to click on that pretty red button right there. It says subscribe. Uh, and then also click that notification bell because that way the next time I upload for the next stitch, YouTube will let you know. Um, thumbs up if you like this stitch as much as I love this stitch. Um, and any questions down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. Please wear your masks in public and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.